John Darrell out of the fourth corner. The white flag is being displayed by Harold Kinder, and Darrell Waltrip has one more lap to go. His advantage on Terry Labonte, more than eight seconds. He can coast home from here. He sets the car into turn number three on the high side of Mike Waltrip. His brother, and here they come off the fourth corner. It's Darrell Waltrip winning the push 500. Crosses the line, finishes in second place. Jeff Bodine is going to be third, a lap down. And then Dale Earnhardt and Harry Gant, unofficially in fourth and fifth. At the top of the show, we said that this seems to be one of the first of the late season races that may be one of the pivotal points in the championship race for the Winston Cup. And I think we saw tonight Waltrip taking a stride. He'll be 116 points behind Dale Earnhardt going to Darlington next Sunday. We'll be back to the... Here race. comes the white flag for Daryl Waltrip. He has one more lap to go around the point. Five, three, three mile high banks of Bristol International Raceway, and he will win his fifth victory of 1989 and his 11th here at Bristol. Off of corner number four, Daryl Waltrip wins the Bush 500 at Bristol International Raceway. Here comes second place, Alan Kowicki will finish second, Ricky Rudd third, and Harry Gant in fourth, those cars on the lead lap. And in fifth is going to be Terry Labonte. Let's go to Jerry. Victory at Bristol International Raceway in his seventh win in the fall race, the night race. White flag is out, he's on his final lap, less than a half mile to go now. Looks like the crew is celebrating already. They know he's got a one. He can probably coast the rest of the way. Here's Waltrip off of corner number four. And the checkered flag waves. Daryl Waltrip has won the Bud 500 at Bristol. Jay Gelder, the mechanic of the race, works his magic. Takes Daryl to the victory. Second position goes to Dale Earnhardt. Third was Schrader. Fourth, Kyle Petty. And in fifth position was, I believe, Alan Kowicki. Was it Kowicki? Alan Kowicki finished fifth. Bill Elliott was sixth. So he will definitely add to his points lead over Davey Allison, Gant, and the others. Darrell Walter pulls his car to the Union 76 flag. And let's get down to pit road.